In this video, we provide the solution to question number 13 from practice exam three for math 1210. We are asked to find the equation of the line tangents to the curve, 3x squared plus 17 sine of y equals three plus xy at the point one comma zero. We need to write our line, the, the tangent line in slope intercept form. So the first thing we need to do is need, we need to find the derivative. Uh, we need to find dy over dx at the point one comma zero. So we're gonna find the derivative implicitly. So we're gonna take the derivative of both sides, three x squared plus 17 sine of y on the left-hand side, the right-hand side, it's gonna be three plus xy, take the derivative. Now our goal is to find the derivative dy over dx. So we are taking the derivative with respect to x. Keep that in mind as we go through this calculation. So when you take the derivative of, we have to take derivative of three x squared, uh, we have to take the derivative of the 17 sine of y. And you know, you could do all of this in the in one line. We don't necessarily have to do it uh, step by step by step here. I mean, we, we can't just like jump to the end. We do need to show our work, but we need to show enough work that a typical student in calculus could read what you're what you wrote down and understand. If your jumps are too large for the typical student to understand, that means you've taken too big of steps here. So the typical student could understand that the derivative of 3x squared will be a 6x. The typical student could also understand that the derivative of 17 sine of y would be 17 cosine of y, y prime. The most common mistake we make when we do implicit differentiation is we forget the inner derivative. We forget the y prime. We need that y prime because we're trying to compute y prime at this moment. The derivative of three on the right-hand side is zero. And then we have to take the derivative of x, y, which the product rule comes into play. We get x prime y plus x, y prime like so, but x prime itself is just one. So if we had scratched it out, that's okay because the, the, the derivative there is just a one. All right, now at this moment, we need to solve for y prime. So we could solve for y prime purely algebraically, but we also know that for, for the slope, we actually care about x equals one and y equals zero. So we could actually make those substitutions in here, x equals one, x equals one, we see that. And we see that y should equal zero. So we get that here and we get that here. So with those simplifications, we're gonna get six times one plus 17 times cosine of zero times y prime. This is equal to zero plus one times y prime. That simplifies things dramatically. Six times one is six. Cosine of zero is actually one. So you get six plus 17 y prime. And then on the right-hand side, you just get a y prime. So we need to solve for y prime here. Uh, subtract 17 y prime from both sides. That would then give us that six is equal to negative 16 y prime, divide both sides by negative 16. We get that dy over dx is gonna equal six over negative 16, which there's a common factor of two, so you could simplify it to be negative three over eight. Don't panic too much if you get a fraction because slopes are generally fractions, right? Rise over run, it's perfectly fine. Now what we wanna do is we actually wanna come up with our tangent line. The tangent line is gonna look like y minus f of f of a here is equal to f prime at a, at a times x minus a, where a and f of a are the point of tangency. So we get y minus, the y coordinate here is zero. The derivative, the slope of the tangent line is negative three eighths. And then we get x minus one right here. Distribute the negative three eighths. We get y is equal to negative three eighths x plus three eighths. And so this is then our correct tangent line equation written in slope-intercept form.